Hey. Hey, Dad. It's kind of a gloomy day, isn't it? But the work on the beehive continues. So today what we're going to do is rig up a... Here, grab that top board. We're going to rig up a device to hold up the uh, lid so you can so the lid will be affixed on its own <laughs> while you're working on the bees or attending to the bees so we found this I needed a dowel and I couldn't find any one so I found this old foamy brush which is a half inch dowel and I think I can get just two pieces out of it all I need is the one for the top and one for the bottom isn't that cool Barrett? Yeah. So, I'll keep us from having to go to Ace Hardware. Is that Mama doing washing in the background? <laughs> so, Barrett and I just made this little brace. And we nipped the corners off just to kind of make it cool looking. So now we're going to drill a hole for our dowels. You know, I can go if I've got a backing beard, I can go all the way through. It's just when you oh, I thought it was all the way through. It's when you don't have a backing on this, it's when the back will flake out bad, and that's what you don't want. Like if I were hanging over, yeah, I'll try to run that all the way through. But you got something to back it up. So now we can stick our dowels in there, and that'll make just a little sanding. That'll make us a little brace that we can put on the over here. Okay, so Barrett, I kind of eyeballed where I want this thing. I don't want it too close to the vent. I don't want it too close to the bottom. I don't want it too close to the top. So mm -hmm. sometimes things just kind of fix themselves. <laughs> now, I really don't want to go all the way through. So what I'm going to do is, for now, I'm going to stick that in there. Now I'm going to figure out where this one's going to go. Pencil? No, it's, I've, I've got it. It doesn't have to be perfect. I guess I want the thing up higher than that so I can work. Really, it's right there where that stinking knot is. <laughs> <laughs> That's where I want it. I wonder if I can drill that out. That's why I was trying to avoid the knot, but... Cause I, I need to be able to take the frames out too. Maybe I should go behind the knot. Yeah, let me have the pencil. I got it. So I think somewhere right here. Yeah. To clean those holes out. See? Hmm. Is that good? Now we just need to glue the dowels in and put a little safety device, like a little hole through the dowel where I can put a nail so it won't slip off because if the wind's blowing or you don't want this thing to shut on you <laughs> when you're working with the bees. Okay, so for now, I just got two little nails uh, to hold it secure, but I'm going to figure out a way, uh, maybe tie something on a string or whatever, <laughs> so that I can just pull those out and um, make it easy. I'm just trying to keep this kind of rudimentary so that, you know, when people, if people want to try to build one of these themselves, you know, you keep the technique simple. Uh, they can do it. 
Now we're going to put the screen, we're going to replace this crappy fiberglass screen with the uh, hard galvanized hardware cloth. Okay, Barrett, we got our screen on here. Got one little place right there. It's easing up, but anyway, this will keep the bees from coming out through the feeder, and also I've got a bunch of staples on here, so it'll help support the uh, feeders if for some reason they want to get loose in the holes. Okay, so now our, we got our jars supported if for some reason the lids get loose in there. And uh, I, tend to, I can just tend to this area. I'm going to have a separate cover for the feeder. I can just tend to this and not even have to bother the bees. So what Bear and I did was, I bought two boxes of frames, that's 20 frames. I took off the, um, I took out the foundation because when I bought them, uh, they said they were wax, uh, natural wax, and it turns out I think they're plastic, uh, wax coated plastic. What I'm gonna do is, um, I'll pour beeswax in that groove and uh, I'll give them a little start. But I think I may, I may leave the first two, you know, I may put two high, two frames of foundation in to start out with. Y'all can give me, my beekeeper friends out there can give me advice on that. Now what we're going to do, since we have 20 frames in here, and obviously that's, you know, enough, <laughs> too much to start. But I'm going to figure out a, like a follower board to go in here. Okay, so one of the little features I'm putting on my hive is this little safety latch. There are some children where I'm putting the hive actually, you know, not that close, but they would have access to it. And I don't want them to get too curious and uh, just come over and just start you know, pushing up on my hive. Uh, plus, this thing is going to be pretty stable because there's going to be cross pieces here that are levelers. So it's actually pretty stable, but for some reason, if a dog jumped up on it and it fell over, this would at least keep the hive in, you know, in one piece. <laughs> um, it might be a little bit of a mess, but I'd at least be able to tip it back up without losing any bees. So just thought that was a neat little feature, and it has these little spring-loaded catch here. A little bit of a pain, but I think it's worth worth the safety feature. Okay, one quick look before I close her up for today. I got my little brace on here. I've got my little safety nail on the fishing line, so when I'm not using it, I can just let it hang down there. And got some frames in there turn these latches around so that they would hang down because when I was trying to close the lid they were sitting on top of this <laughs> and wanting to hang up on that so I turn those around and I've got these top boards here um, this obviously covers the feeder I can get to it without having to open up the rest of the hive this board spaces first frame off of the feeder holes i don't know if they'll make up you know try to make a comb on top of this i hope not um, i'll just have to spank them if they do <laughs> but anyway let me get this back in there and then i'll have three uh inner covers three pieces so that I can take them off individually. They're going to cover seven frames a piece. I measured and they, a one by ten, which is nine and a quarter inches, will cover seven of them perfectly. And then I'll have a follower board, um, you know, where it'll go somewhere in here to start, right? Then all these will 
slide down. You know, so wherever I decide to put the follower, you know, whether it's here or whatever, I can decide. I'm going to call this a temporary cap. It is cedar. It hasn't weathered yet, like the shingles. But I may leave it, or I may take this piece off and just have a little galvanized piece running the full length. Yeah. I was trying to make sort of a traditional cap and it's kind of bulky I don't know that's one thing about this it's a prototype so I'll learn from this one and uh, make the the real ones special so all we have to do is now is get our view viewing window in there and uh, we'll be done we'll be ready for some bees <laughs> 